Hi guys, this is the Raven Monkeys. Today I'm going to show you how to download and use the Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead anim anim Animation Viewer by Clayman. So first of all, open your internet browser and go straight to Google. Now once you're on Google, uh, type in Armor 2 Animation Viewer enter right and then it's the fourth one down like where my mouse is and it's www.armedassault.info and that that's the site where it is so once you're on that site uh, for this for this uh, add-on you will need the community base add-ons wh which you can find at armaholic.com and it's under editing I think and or it'll be in modules or stuff like that just just look around for it so anyway download it and save it to your desktop right so and then it's done straight away so it's alright so if you go to your desktop and then you would want to extract it extract files with 7-zip, WinZip, WinRAR, whatever you have it all does the same stuff and then press OK. Now it it extracts it really quickly. So open the animation viewer. Now once you're here, you've got to copy that file just there. N not that, not the README, that animation viewer v13. Utes. So copy or cut, whatever. And then go to your documents. And it'll be Armed Assault 2 or Armor 2, other profiles and then it's your profile there and then go to missions and then paste that file in there I've already done it don't worry it will work so once you've pasted that now I'm going to show you the in-game animation viewer alright so yeah right guys go on to single player editor and then it's if you scroll up it's utes just use none of the others because it won't load with none of the others so you press continue <coughs> right now you press load and then the map should be at use mission name if you scroll down it's an anim viewer v12 or v13 it's whichever one you have okay so you click that and then this is this is it. This is the animation viewer. It's put in the initialization code for you, so there's no need to worry for looking that up like so. Right, okay. See so that's okay. If you press preview, hold on, I'll just so you don't have to stare into something crap. Preview it. Right, it'll come up with this little warning. Don't worry about that. Um, you press continue and you press enter again when it comes up with animation viewer. So there we go. Oh, sorry, computer's lagging a bit today. Right now, this this is the animation viewer. Here you can do pretty cool stuff. So j if you can just mess around with it really, and then stuff you see that you like, uh, you know, you can you can choose what you want to do so right there we go um, now on this you can do virtually anything so it's pretty cool so stuff like weapon check uh, oh he's not doing it <laughs> some some of them don't work you just gotta be aware of that so just a word of warning so where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Here you can you get like moves where you where they like push a card to see you know stuff like that. You get animations like that. And so what you do, you add it to the saved animations, and then you click it, copy, and then you paste in the notepad. So like here's the notepad. And basically, you it's down here, so 
you press paste like so sometimes it can just come up with that them them little signs that nothing to worry about just go back to the game and copy it again and then paste it right click and paste it in here so first of all it will be name of the unit like so and then it will be either player move or switch move it's it's not player sorry it's play now it's not both of them together it's one or the other if if you try one and it doesn't work try the other and at the end here just after them little dashes you put that not that that and then there you go don't worry i will i will um make a screenshot of this and put it at the end of the video so there's no worries so i'll just leave that there press up right there we go so now to get out of the this animation editor you press escape escape again and then suspend now if you want to get out of that i'm going to show you a animation that I've done for a video in my previous one the mark of a hero and um, it's basically where I've got units to sit on a tank up high and uh, yeah you, you'll see it in a minute so no worries right here we go right if I just delete some of this crap this is unneeded so like that. just so it speeds up the computer right here we go right that unit we're gonna control C and then control V here and I'll show you what to do right if you double click that that is your initial initial initialization code sorry guys or init code just you know I'm gonna change that you you can't have the same name for every unit because only one script will work you have to have different names for each animation you want to do so like that now control C and then you have to make a waypoint on that unit and then click on on the top of him basically like I've done and then put it in the on act and press OK now this enables the script without that waypoint the script won't work the animation won't work it's always got to have a waypoint on him with the animation name in the in it or the on act file like so so basically I'll show you now right here we go right as you can see the men actually get up and sit on the tank now this man here is the unit oh my gosh sorry the graphics have gone all weird for some reason today right the script has enabled enabled okay and allows him to sit on nothing but obviously it's not perfect but sometimes you can get it looking pretty smart like that there um, where you just place an empty object like a tank or that wrecked BMP2 and you know just place this place the man and you know you get what I'm saying so if you have any questions or what have you about how to do it or anything just PM me message me on YouTube and I'll get back to you ASAP alright guys I hope this video has helped um, obviously please comment by all means um, keep keep the hatred hatred comments down guys please it'll be much appreciated and uh yeah please subscribe that's the main thing it'll be much appreciated cheers guys